bother you with the presentation of practical and technical aspects of cello playing. We will have a closer look at our finger board in the neck positions. Since I find it extremely helpful to know the actual note by name while playing it and simultaneously what is in the reach of your hand on the used string and on the other strings, I highly recommend to spend some time on this subject. I will offer you a hopefully easily understandable, organized look at the fingerboard material we have to deal with. Furthermore, the old system of positions is somewhat illogical, with the result that playing in the so-called second, third or fifth positions remains mysterious for a long time and is avoided as long as possible. So, what do we have? We have our first position. This is the one we always start out with. Then, usually the next one we meet is the fourth position. But what is in between? And not only in between, but below the first position. There is a position called half position. I mean, why half? And then, here's the first position. And then, first finger on C. We call it second position. But what about the... The C sharp with the first finger. This is the second position as well. So here's the first reason of getting confused. You, you can call it as you like. The confusion still remains. First position, second. Raised second, I don't know. Still second. Then finally, we have the octave of the next lower string. We call third position. If your first finger plays here in the D on the A string, it's the third position. But now, again, what the hell is this? <laughs> this is another third position. Is it a raised third position or is it a lowered fourth position? Nobody knows. Nobody can tell you. At least you know you play with your first finger a D sharp. Then we have our fourth position. We are used to that. That's fine. Fourth and first position are the only ones. Then here we go again. We call that fifth position. But here too we have two of the same number. Same with the sixth, only the seventh. There's only one, one seventh position. So again we have the first, a fourth. They are definitely clear first and fourth, but then first finger on B flat, half position, first, second, second, third, third, fourth, fifth, and fifth, still six, six, and seventh. 
This definitely is problematic. Let's try something else. I suggest to eliminate all the numbers of our positions and replace them by the knowledge of what your fingers actually play. More precisely, replace it by the knowledge what your first finger actually plays. That saves energy and one step of thinking. If you think of the fourth position, for instance, you put your hand there, that's fine, but then in the next step you have to think of the notes which are in the fourth position. I suggest save the first step, save the first detour. Just learn from the very beginning the notes you're actually playing and what is in the neighborhood of the actual playing finger. Organize your left hand by the note your first finger is playing. In the file Materials you find an elaborate depiction of our fingerboard to support this learning process. So, what can we do practically to meet this challenge? Once in a while you should assure you that all the nodes on your fingerboard are still there. We start on the A string. A and the next half step is B flat. We only play with the first finger now. Now B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and finally A. And backwards, downwards, A, Gis, I say Gis, it's G sharp, G, F sharp, F, E, E flat or D sharp, I don't care, D, C sharp, C, B, B flat, A. Now it becomes boring. We go to the D string. D, E flat, E, F, F sharp. B flat, B, C, C sharp and D. Down, D, C sharp, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, F sharp, G flat, F, E, E flat. Same thing on the G string. G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, and G. G, F sharp, F, E, E flat, D, C sharp, C, B, E flat, A, A flat, and G. Last string.
first finger. Now you do the same thing with fingers 1 and 2. But we name only the note which is played by the first finger. So again A string, A, B flat. Now C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp. And on the way down we name the fingers the second finger, always the upper finger. A, G, F, E flat, C sharp, B. Same thing on the D string.
on each string. So we start again A string, B flat, A sharp, first finger. Now D and F sharp. Great. 
very, very rewarding. Okay, I have my doubts whether I could reach or even convince you with these considerations. Honestly, I think we cannot get rid of our first and fourth position. But maybe you can give it a try, even though it means some effort in memorizing stuff. But the material is clear and manageable. It is not endless and gets bigger and bigger. No, once you got it, you got it. And imagine you would not laboriously search for pitches anymore. You would just know where the notes are and put any finger there. That would be terrific, right? Special thanks for your interest today. See you soon again. Take care and so long.